Okay, so now let's take a look at how we can take a topographic map and draw a profile along a specific line on that map. Remember, a profile is simply a side view or a cross section of a particular landscape. So here's a simple map. You can see the picture on top shows what the landscape looks like in more of a three dimensional view. And you can see on the left side we have a very gradual slope with a somewhat complicated looking depression in the center and a small peak on the right side. Below you can see the topographic map representing this particular landscape and that's what we're going to be working with. Again, take a look at the map, familiar, familiarize yourself and you will see that we have some contour lines which are labeled and we also have a dashed line connecting points X and Y. Now that is the line along which we're going to draw our profile. So let's get started. The first step is to always take a piece of scrap paper and line it up along the line of which we're going to profile. Now you'll notice that the contour lines in this case cross over our scrap paper and what we want to do is make a small mark wherever a contour line crosses our scrap paper. So the first one was 10. We'll label that X as well so we know where that is. The next line has a value of 20 and we're going to label it. And then we get to our depression, so we have another 20 contour line, and then we start going back down. So there's a 10, and then there's that same 10 line again, and then back up to 20, 30, 40, and then 40 again, and then back down to 30, and ending up at Y, which has an elevation of 20. So now we take our scrap paper, and we're going to bring it over to our grid. Now, on a Regents exam, the grid will usually be provided to you, but you may have to do this with a piece of graph paper. So this is what our grid looks like, and we're going to line our scrap paper up along the x-axis of the grid, and it should fit up pretty much perfectly. And if you look carefully, you'll notice that our point all the way on the left, which we labeled x, is directly under the two sample points that were plotted for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to go along with all the marks you made in your scrap paper and directly above them you're going to plot a point at the proper elevation. So you can see directly above our X line there's a dot at an elevation of 10. Moving along above the 20 line we'll put a dot at 20 and then we have 20 again back down to 10 and 10 again back up to 20 all the way up to 30 and then 40 again at 40, back down to 30, and then finally Y was plotted for us. Now the final step here is to connect the dots with a smooth curved line. And remember what we're showing here. This is a cross section of the mountain. So you have to think about what's going to happen, particularly between two points of equal value. Okay, so let's take a look at what it should look like. And right, so it should look something like this. Now notice that between points of equal value, we either curve the line up to follow the trend, like between the first two 20s, or we curve the line down to follow the trend between the, the two 10s in the center. So this is what that would look like along the cross section. Thank you.